Hello, here we have a pi and here we have a sigma. Which one do you like? Well, let's see. Hmm. Which one is easier? This one. Why? Because let's go ahead and take the limit of this. Just the inside. So have a look. Right here, I will actually start with a blue marker. So here, let's do the check. We see that if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of just this, n to the third power minus 1 over n to the third power plus 1. Well, we just need to care about the highest power of n and also the n right here, which they have the same degree. We can reduce that out, which you just end up with 1, so that's very nice. Well, with this being said, you see this right here is 1, which is clearly not equal to 0. So this right here actually diverges by test for diverges. And we are talking about infinite sum. So you see, in the end, we are pretty much going to be adding a bunch of ones. That's why when you're adding a bunch of ones, you end up with infinity, and that's why it is a divergent series. So now, let's focus on this and see how we can actually do that. And if you want to pause the video and try to solve it, go ahead and do so, right? If not, just continue watching, and I'll tell you guys what the answer uh, is at the end, once we get here. So hopefully, uh, all right, so now you should have enough time to uh, check it out and Teddy saying hi to you guys, all right? All right, so I think we are just going to factor out the top and also factor out the bottom. And let's see. So here is our pi, and this is n equals 2 to infinity. Factoring out the difference of two cubes, we get the top is n minus 1 times n squared plus n plus 1 squared, which is 1, and then divided by n plus 1 on the bottom instead, and then here we have n squared minus n plus 1, like that. Okay. Um, perhaps let's just plug in numbers and let's see if we can write down anything that we know much better. So, here we go. If we just plug in 2 in here, we just get 1, and plug in 2 in here, well actually let's focus on this. Plug in 2 in here, we get 1, plug in 2 in here, we get 2 and then plugging 3 you get plugging 4 you get 4 3 and then all that da 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 up to n minus 1 right because remember when you are trying to find out the infinite sum you can try to find out the partial sum right we are trying to find out the partial product so when we plug in a bunch of numbers end up with n we have this right here and then for this part i will just do this in red plug in 2 in here this is 4 plus 2, and then plus 1 is 7, like this. And then plugging 3, you get 9 plus uh, 3, which is, and then plus 13, uh, plus 1 is 13, and all that. And then you pretty much will end up with a bunch of other things. So actually, let me just put on more terms. Let's put down when n is equal to 4. When n is 4 is 16, plus 1 is 20, plus 9 is 21. And notice that this is actually a very nice pattern. You just add 6, add 8, and then the next one is you add 10 and so on, so on, so on. And in the end, when you plug in n in here, you just end up with n squared plus n plus 1, right? Pretty good. Now, let's see what we have on the bottom. Plug in 2 in here, we get 3. Plug in 3 in here, we get 4. And then 5, da, 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 up to n plus 1. All right, here we go. We do the red numbers again. Plug in 2 in here, this is 4 minus 2, and then plus 1, which is 3. And then plugging 3, you get 9 minus 3, and then plus 1 is 7. And then plugging 4 is 16, minus 4 is 12, plus that is 13. And you actually see this right here is actually very nice. Lastly, you see you have n squared minus n plus 1, like that. Now, it's about time to do our cancellations. You see that, uh huh. Well, here we have. Okay, it's 3 up to n plus 1. So technically we have n and also n minus, oops. Here we have n minus 1 and n right here, right? So I will just put that down. n, n minus 1 and, and n. Let me do it again. Right here, n minus 1 and n. Before the n plus 1, of course. And you see, here, the 3 and 4, I mean 3 and 3 cancel, 4 and 4 cancel, and so on, so on, so on. And the n minus 1 will cancel out the n minus 1 right here. And what we have left is 
1 and 2 on the top, and then n and n plus 1 on the bottom for the first term right here. All right, for the second part right here, the red numbers, we will have this 3 and this 13 and 13 cancel, and actually the 7 and 7 cancel as well. And the truth is, this and that will cancel, this and that will cancel, and so on, so on, so on. Well, what's this and that? The truth is, this and that, they are actually just off by 1. Why? Let me demonstrate in blue. On the top, it's actually 1 less than the bottom. So I will show you this right here. If I write it as n minus 1 and then square plus n minus 1 and then plus 1, multiply this out, this is just n squared minus 2n plus 1 plus n minus 1 plus 1 and you see this is n squared this and that is just minus n and then plus 1 right? so that means the term before will cancel out with this term so this is true so in the end what we have is this is just equal to 1 times 2 and then the top is just that guy, which is n squared plus n plus 1. And then on the bottom, we have this guy, which is 3. And then don't forget the n, and also the n plus 1, like that. So this is actually still a telescoping, but this is technically a telescoping product, right? Well, well, don't forget that in the end, we still have to do our usual business. Namely, we still have to take the limit because this is just the nth partial product. So n goes to infinity, take the limit as n goes to infinity. Well, well, on the top just 2 times n squared and on the bottom is 3 times n squared. So in the end, if you just pay attention to the dominating parts, we will have the answer being equal to 2 thirds. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, that's it.